deflating, patronizing, stereotyping crap. Die! Hey, lady, you okay? No, I'm not okay! Look at this! It's just a garden gnome. No, it's not! It's an insult! It's a joke! It's demeaning! I mean, I'll happily have kids laugh at me or have grown men ask me to do bizarre things to them, but I will not have this! This is so degrading. Is there something I can do to help? Smash them! Smash them all! Old Bullwoodville's full of them! Please, I'll even pay you! Just make it stop hurting! I always knew I could do it. Don't get hurt now. Take a chance, kid. You should be in school. That only you can help no me out. With. are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh -huh. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh, well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do.
I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miz. Please, take this. That's that nonsense dealt with. Just what I wanted. Good to see you haven't forgotten me. This was my favorite combination back when I had a kickbox. Come on in, come on! You can be better. Transistor when you come back. That's how it's done. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy? What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me! So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. These guys don't believe my many lies. I can tell. If it wasn't for golf it and yacht, I'd have to go to never public school or something. He'd be lost without me. Keep an eye me. on the plebeians, they said. We don't want their kind of golf and yacht. We don't want to stand sign language. It's just not fair. I don't see why something like this should happen. Now I'm mad. this out man to man backups are right what's going on what's a girl got to do to get sure something nice from her man you oh, are so baby. gonna get killed
hope to see you soon. Like them? Thanks, Jim. Seriously, oh, thank she's you. She's trying to look just like me. How creepy is that? That is unbelievable. Oops. Disgusting. <laughs> Uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. I'm done. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened. Like he's dead dead, because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great. You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. Are you blind? It's obvious from all the expensive gifts he buys me that he loves me. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy! Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! You'll win me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? I'm easily swayed by presents. <laughs>
people. Wow, you really bought a ticket. I think the next game is going to be your game. Try again, and this time, don't fail. You must have had a good horoscope today. <sighs> comes through. Don't mind me. Life's been hard. <sighs> All sorted. Feeling really lucky, huh? <sighs> That's all there is to it. Let's see how good your past life was. Let's go pick up the bear now! I love when the carnival comes to town. Hey, can you lend me some money? Excellent choice, son. Oh, cool! Thanks, Jimmy. It's so cute! Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. That's it? I'm 